Yeah. I pull up roto when I'm down it. I pull up roto when I'm down it. Yeah. I pull up roto when I'm down it. Hi, hotties, kettles, tea stirs. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. Those the truths that I hold about her. What are they? I don't know why the Love and Marriage Huntsville extras get on this TV show and say the shit that they say. Like I'm not gonna be up here running the clips back, but. Is it is what it is. They want to help me get a check and I appreciate them. Love and Marriage Huntsville has gone on a hiatus due to the Olympics, so Carlos says. And y'all remember my last video. I said it was due to the election, but I meant the Olympics. And we all know he probably went on the hiatus because his ratings are already low. He wasn't going to be able to compete with the Olympics. But that being said, they're set to be back on air this Saturday. And they started to release some trailers of what's to come next. So we're going to be talking about the the Love and Mary Chunksville trailers today, but I specifically want to talk about this clip that Sunny Minks posted over on her Instagram sidebar. I got a chance to meet Sunny, and she is very fun and entertaining, like I've been telling y'all. She was very open and she was very just fun and playful. She was full of energy. I walked up to her and I was like, Hey, Sunny, and she turned around. She was like, I'm the wife, and like turned her hand, like being funny. So I just, I like her energy. Y'all already know, I don't really care about Moses, but I don't give a damn about nobody husband. Man, brother, daddy, I don't care, period, by none of them. But baby, Melly Scorpiona got this cut. She's on Love and Marriage Huntsville, and she basically gonna walk the cast down. And I like that she is approaching it with nothing but logic. Because at the end of the day, she's not saying anything wrong, and I want her to now challenge them. Because seriously why is it that y'all have all this to say about Sonny and her situation with Moses when it came to Dusty Dan and she been what a booty call for 15 years Sonny has now married this man what is it that y'all have to say and why do y'all have all this energy when it comes to Dusty Dan but y'all were really straddling the fence when it came to Melody and to me that is so infuriating considering she put you hoes on y'all are very ungrateful grateful and I remember a lot of the times where libido basically had this very snarky snobby way about herself when it came to Melody and having conversations with Melody and her whole viewpoint was the fact that Melody wasn't breaking down and crying and she seemed to be doing well and thriving so it was no need for libido to check in with her considering her family was literally coming to an end which was the stupidest logic to me but not really when you understand how male identified women move the fact that she had that mindset when it came to melody lets me know that she felt like melody should have been grateful for the situation that she was in with male's baby mama and i knew at that point libido in the cancer hunter situation was all bad and all wrong because a woman wouldn't even move with that type of logic that literally moves with integrity love be I mean, seriously, she would be able to put herself in another woman's shoes. I don't give a fuck if I like you or not. I would never want to be in male situation. And the minute she started going through all of that stuff and male's baby mama started revealing himself to be the nasty, wicked individual that he truly was, my heart truly went out to her. Because at the end of the day, any woman could have gone through that. Bitch, you are not above any of that shit. None of you hoes are above any of that. So the fact that women like to move with their nose in the air to have the audacity to look down on other women that are choosing themselves merely because you want to be validated by men that never really are going to respect you because they don't respect women that don't choose themselves is so disheartening. But I look at a woman like Dusty Dan and I always tell people I don't really care about the situation that she's in 
considering the type of vitriol she is willing to have toward another woman that chooses herself. And as a girl's girl, I'm willing to stand 10 toes down in the fact that I can never support those type of women. And you also have to understand those type of women are always playing a nasty game and they will use their traumas to their benefit while also using their traumas to try to destroy other people. And again, those type of people will never have my protection or my voice. There's this one quote that says, stop trying to be a blessing for people that need to feel their karma. And I feel like that's the case with Dusty Dan. So many people trying to speak out for her when it comes to the Sunny Mink situation. And it's the irony that she tried to tarnish Mel's image and bring Mel down by way in which of discussing Mel's personal business with Sunny Minks and trying to relate information to Sunny in order to expose Melody when that was supposed to be your good friend. That was somebody that put six thousand plus dollars in your pocket and really put you on because she brought you on this platform. Whether you're going to sit on here and say that Martel is really your friend or you were friends with Martel first or not, you are a woman first above anything. And when you see a man willing to take the steps that Martel has been willing to take to destroy another woman that did nothing fucking to him but chose herself and not let another man jump from house to house and create broken homes and broken homes and stand on the principle of you don't want to choose sides at the end of the day it's not about choosing sides it's about alignment and integrity and if you are the type of person that would align yourself with a man like that I'm sorry if you're the type of woman that would align yourself with a man like that you are red flag questionable and I stand on that it seems like most of the women on the cast have a problem with women that chooses themselves and I already know it's because they can't choose themselves in their situation and they don't have the ability to do so and they actually do but they don't think they do because they don't have any value in themselves and they're not secure within themselves their entire life revolves around men and their men's plot and plight and everything their men want and need in order to elevate nothing that they do in their day-to-day -day has anything to do with the betterment of them as women and ultimately real men understand and choose women that chooses themselves because as a woman when you are completely whole you can be whole to the community for your men, for your kids, etc. And that's probably why Moses didn't want Dusty Dan because she not whole. She's a male identified pick me as bitch. And real men do not like male identified hoes. Like I don't understand when y'all gonna learn the lesson. Even when you look at libido and the cancer hunter, the cancer hunter don't even like libido. I'm not saying a man won't marry you but he still don't like you. A man that isn't willing to go out of his way to provide and be of service to you and make your life easier and better and fulfill your life does not like you. A man will so easily shack up with you, marry you, because at the end of the day, marriage makes a man life easier, which is why I always say, y'all be sitting up here talking about, oh, I'm married, I'm married, I'm married. Fuck your marriage if you're not getting the best out of your man nobody gives a fuck about a woman being married when you're married to a man that's requiring you to go 50 50 or when you're married to a man that needs your, your that needs your money to help him thrive i.e kimmy i.e leticia and again nobody cares that you're married when your husband isn't actually active with his children and productive within the household I'm just saying, y'all be trying to talk about these marriages being 22, being married for 22 years into servitude. Like, we would give a fuck about that. Nobody cares about you being married for 22 years into servitude, especially considering the statistics say single women live longer, mainly because they're not dealing with shit like that. But another thing I want to say is Letitia, Kimmy, 
you know, a lot of these women on the cast, they resonate with Dusty Dan because Dusty Dan is male identified. They are male identified. They will never be able to resonate with a woman like Melody because it is so polarizing to see her maneuver through life the way that she does because it completely invalidates everything that them, those men, I was going to say them nigs, but those men that they have married and they have, me, you know, uh, yoke themselves up with have said and taught them so they weren't able to be of any value to melody or give any unity to her because again they didn't understand why a woman would not want to be traumatized by a man because having a man is better than not having a man in their eyes. And Kimmy was also a side chick. She literally said it out her own mouth for so many seasons. She tried to act as if she was not messing with this man while he was still married. And then toward the end of the season or it, one of the seasons when she was always talking about her libido that's when she decided to share that he was actually married but she is just a side chick brained bird because she said what typical side chicks say talking about yeah well they had both signed the paper so melody asked her well why did she feel like you had came into between her marriage she talking about because she was talking about reconciliation no ho they was talking about reconciliation you weren't in a fucking marriage she probably Probably, they were probably talking about divorce. The paperwork probably wasn't really even signed. It's the fact that he probably told you that to make you feel good so you can keep your legs open because that's really how you got your man libido. And we know that's why you got to keep your, your legs open throughout this entire marriage, even when you're going through life-threatening diseases that re would require you to be fully whole and have your mental intact. That's why you over there trying to convince yourself because you're a male-identified woman that you really needed and wanted to have X with that man while you were going through cancer, girl. Girl, please. As you sat on the panel with Marie and she was goes through lupus and she was talking about how she couldn't even fathom. Like lupus and cancer, there are a couple of similarities. These are both very you know, hard things to deal with, life battling things to deal with. And you sitting up there with that woman while she's being transparent, talking about you just needed it. It's just, and again, male identify women will suffer and they will hate you and despise you because you won't suffer with them. You are literally a mirror and a reflection of their lack thereof. So a woman like Melody, they're always going to find issues with. They're never going to be able to have her back. And I always say this, pay attention to people that let people around you be rude to you or not just be rude to you, but do wrong on to you. People that allow other people to do wrong on to you and never speak up for you and never do anything to uplift you or impact you or anything or you know help you it's because they agree with the things that are being done to you and don't have the balls to do it themselves so they are watching it be done to you they like it being done to you Letitia Kimmy and all of them people when Melody was going through that tumultuous stuff with her baby mama they sat there and watched and really wasn't of any value to her because they liked to see her in that space because she always walked around with her head held high she always walked around feeling herself and loving herself and being full of herself and just being secure within herself to where they wanted to her to have something that they could look at to say, see, you not that perfect. See, you not that girl. See, they always want to be able to humble you. And a lot of times they use men to do that. So that's my opinion. Y'all watch these clips and just pay attention how the contradictions just really are crazy with this cast these people have no morals integrity they don't stand on anything which is why we can have these videos and they look completely stupid and foolish and everything that i feel like i said about them has been absolutely correct because again time reveals all you can only fake who you are for so long you have to be completely transparent and be who you are because people are going to start seeing the differences like your true character will come out if you're not being yourself.
So y'all get in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so y'all are up to date each and every time that I upload. In a situation like this, the whole Sonny Moses Destiny triangle, right? Um, I hear Tisha and Kimmy, but to be honest, I think both parties <laughs> have fought, right? I don't think there's nobody totally innocent in the situation. You know what? I wonder if some of these women are triggered because they haven't been able to put a face maybe with what their men are doing. Yeah. And then they're seeing your face and they feel like you took him from her. I hope not, but it seems like it's giving a little bit of that. Giving a little bit of triggered, ain't it? Yeah. But I'm glad you're not triggered. You know what I'm saying? If anybody, you know, you would, you would feel, you know. It's funny you mention that. What's so interesting to me is kind of the hypocrisy of it all, right? It is. They seem to be so strongly opinionated by you and a person, he was not married to this girl, yeah. didn't have kids together, weren't even engaged, and damn sure didn't have no 14-year relationship no. like I was, right? Right. But I literally have heard Kimmy say, oh, I refuse to call her a side chick. I'm not calling her a side chick in terms of my situation. Right. No, this is just entertainment purpose. Um, She's a side chick. Don't, don't, don't even say her name. She's, she's I'm not going to call her a no. side chick. And we don't have to talk about it. <laughs> but I'm just saying it's unfortunate that so many different people are like collateral damage. I don't feel like at this juncture, oh, that's what she deserves. This is what's weird because uh -huh. her scenario implies he cheated. Mm -hmm. That's the scenario. Mm -hmm. However, it just looked like WTF. Like, really? That's what we're gonna do here? Right. I think it's um, hard not to be upset in regards to your husband cheating, but I completely disagree with the way Melody put Martell on the spot. I felt poorly for him. Those the truths that I hold about her. What are they? I mean, like her making implications like I interfered in their marriage and that kind of thing. That makes Well, it... do you feel like you interfered in their marriage? Of course not. Mm, okay. Absolutely not. Because you and I never really had that conversation. Like, we've never talked about that. I've heard it, I've heard it implied, I've mm -hmm. heard, but I've never just asked you. Like, you know what I'm saying? So whenever no. you and Maurice met, they were already divorced? They weren't divorced. They were in the process. They had both signed the paperwork and they were waiting for the paperwork. So why did she even think that you interfered in the marriage? Even though they had signed papers, she was talking about reconciliation. Oh. No. In the case of anybody. This is just entertainment purpose. Oh. It's not that I hold about her. What are they? Do you really want me to do this? You can if Don't you would. I would love for you to Don't do this. When that's information that, number one, would never embarrass me, it actually would it, it actually feels um, like the betrayal of the situation. That's a different, this is a different level because not only is it, there is any information that you would like to share, it's what I told you as my producer. That's number one. Number two, um, now you're playing with my family. Now you're, you're trying to tell a story that only I can tell. And there's a reason why I slow walk this story. And I've been very careful and delicate about what I say because there's a child involved. And I don't play about mine at all. So that statement is either you share it and it's going to make you look worse of an individual. Or you're going to lie. And again, there's still a child involved. So for me, it's like, if you want to share a receipt, be ready for the consequences because I there's still a child involved. So for me, it's like, if you want to share a receipt, be ready for the consequences, because I promise you I don't play by my baby. And, and... Yeah. Um, yeah. If I, and, and, and you think it's cute, and it, it's funny, or it's what you think people want to be entertained by, but that part, that's not entertainment. That's not real life. And again, that's only a story I can tell the right way. And you don't hear me out here blabbing about what happened, because again, it's some dark stuff and my child is involved. Mm -hmm. And I don't play about my kid. I don't play about my family. So find somebody else or something else to play with. Stick with your side chick story because that's one that I don't play with. Yeah. So. Your husband has made these false statements about Marcel. How do you know they're false? 
Because I know they're false. How do you know they're false? Are they real? That's neither okay, here there for me to say. Okay. You feel like Marcel was out there doing something and you know about it. You know the pain of that situation. Uh -huh, so I if do. you know something, why wouldn't you come to me and say something to me? You know why I wouldn't dare tell you anything? Because you don't believe I say anyway. So figure it out on your own. Figure it out on your okay. own. Okay. I don't have to figure out anything. I know my husband's faithful. Oh, just okay. because your husband did all it ain't no just because. a girlfriend it ain't no for just three and a half years it ain't no and a whole because. bunch of side chicks So this is side. what I'm going to say. When your husband's at the bar, when your husband's at the bar late at night coming home at five, six in the morning, you might want to roll up, put them kids, get them kids to a babysitter, and roll up to the bar, honey. Roll up to the bar. How can you be real with someone when they don't want to hear the real anyway. That's all I'm saying. Roll up. Up. Honey, roll. You know, call me sweetie. Remember, see, that's what I'm talking about. You do the, don't do this, but then you do it. You know what? This is not going to go anywhere. You're not being honest. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not, not being honest. I'm not being honest, y'all. That's fine. So, good luck with you and your husband with his three and a half year relationship. And good luck with yours. I'm not going to give you all your info yet, but I'll give you the receipts when you're ready. Oh, I have a receipt them. for that BMW. You when you're ready to see him. Martel has a matching BMW with somebody, and it's not his wife.